Good day, everybody. How you all doing? Look, sunshine. No rain. Thank God today. Anyway, um, just an update on what I'm doing. Um, what are we on? 12. I think it's 12. 13. 12. 12. I think. Um, carburetors on. Um, yeah. I was going to do the uh, not the carburetor. Engines in the car, um, and I was going to use a push pull cable which is around somewhere I, I ordered one um, to do the to do the uh, gear linkage but it's it's not going to work um, it's too short to to maneuver it into the right position so anyway I came up with an idea this is the original throttle pedal from the car um, uh, how did it work that's bit went just trying to remember now that went inside the car didn't it or outside no that's that's right that that came outside the car and there was another bit on it on the other end on this end where there's a bit of a flat and a thing that was the throttle pedal end so this bit was inside the car and then it this went outside through the firewall you see and then that was the puller for the throttle which won't work on you know on the rover so anyway i came up with the idea of um because i want to use the column shift to change the auto box so keeping the column shift i thought i'd do it this way so this was a perfect size for going under from there ouch that's still hot so i just welded this on here from get on there ouch 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 right from there to there was almost perfect for the chassis and um, I had to make a little plate for here and then this is going to go on the bottom of the steering column where the gear shift fits and then that will fit on there you see like that and then that will push that up and down and then all I've had to add is that bit and that will go on the, on the um, car linky so I'll show you hello Hazel hello Jess Got a cup of tea. Hello, Jesse. What do you say? Hello, Jess. <laughs> yeah, I'll back on a minute. I just want to go under here. So, anyway, um, what did it, did I lack? Well, had I lacked the car before? I can't remember now. Anyway, lacquer's all on it. Here's the bonnet. Um, lovely jubbly. Nice and shiny. Um, because I, I think I mentioned before, I want to do the bumpers grey, um, a matte grey. I'm going to get some matte grey vinyl stripes and just do like a wide two or three inch vinyl stripe there and there. Just to break up the, grey, the, the blue, because there's a lot of blue. Anyway, radiators in, it's all back together. Got a, um, oh, That's okay, engine's in lovely jubbly engines all in um, might be a problem with this clearing the bonnet down but until I put the bonnet back on I won't know I've got a feeling that that's just gonna touch uh, if so I can I can drop this down a tiny bit about half an inch and if that doesn't work I'm, I'm tempted to cut a little bit you know an inch off the top of the filter and lower the whole thing down so anyway that's, that's another problem so um yeah sorting out lots of problems at, at, you know there's so many things to do you can't figure out what to do first so yeah radiators in that's where it's going to go obviously um i've got a little oil cooler for the um uh gearbox cooling for, for the stuff uh, i've got to figure out where that's got to go and hoses for it now the gear link, uh, oh, you can't see it from here because the, the the master cylinder, I'm using the original brake servo, I believe it still works, I hope it still works. Um, the chap from Australia, um, he's um, he sent, uh, well, hopefully he's sending me a, a he's going to pick up a master, master cylinder from over there in one of the breakers yards or one of the people that deal with stuff over there. So 
I wanted to use the, the original brakes. I did get another one from down the breakers yard, but it w I was going to use a transit one like I used on the Jeep, but the transit one, the, 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 the vacuum's too big, it won't fit in the gap. Um, and it stuck out too far and it interfered, it would have hit the um, tower, the shock tower, so that won't work. So I needed a shorter one and anyway, figure that one out. So, right, anyway, hopefully, um, I've put some sound deadening in, that's all gone in, the sound deadening, all up the firewall. The um, heaters, that's the, uh, the new heater, um, which is, I haven't quite made up my mind whether that's going exactly there or not yet anyway. I'm not putting any um, soundproofing there because that's under the seat. The carpet will be there, but that's, that's as much of the soundproofing I had and ordered and I had some for the roof. I've doubled, I've double layered it on the roof. So anyway, that's that. Uh, under the car, right? Um, give you a. You can't really see it, and it's very, very hard to see. And I, I must admit, in this light, I should have had more light when I painted it, because I've noticed when I, I pushed it out into the sun the other day again to open the doors and do something, and I, I noticed there are patches in the paint that um, are patchy, to say the word. <laughs> but I mean, uh, you know, for. for and the space is very awkward. I mean, that's almost up against the other side. And when you're trying to spray and you've only got, well, that's not even three foot. That's about two and a half feet to, to get into, um, you know, wave your arms about to spray. It's a bit awkward, but anyway, never mind. You know, we can always blame things. Anyway, let's go under the car. Oh, which I can't stand to it. Oh, dear me. And if you can see, Right, there's the original linkage off the column. So that's going to go on there, like that, when I take the nut off. But anyway, this bar, here's the linkage for the gearbox, which I've made. So this now goes on here. Sorry about the shaking and the movement. It's uh, a bit difficult to hold the camera and put it in place. Right. So th Sorry I turned you off for a minute. Right, so that's going to go there. God, it's difficult. Right, that will be up there onto there. So that's the linkage there. And then this will connect, oh, I can't move my arms in here. This will connect onto here. And then that will click up and down as you uh, go through the gears. At the moment it's in park. And the gear selector is right at the top, which is what I wanted. I wanted that for park. So when it, you, come, you come from park to reverse, then to um, neutral and then drive something like that so drive will be about in line with the dashboard when it's uh, when it's done so anyway that's all that that's all that sorted out so this will now I'll, I'll paint all this um, I've got to make a little bush for here because that's quite a big hole because that originally had a big rubber bush in it um, and a pin so I'm going to put a, a, a brass bush and an 8mm bolt short 8mm bolt to take the um, all the clicking and the slack out of the system so anyway there you go there's the underneath of the car if you can see it so okie doke I think that's about all for now and all them um, it's coming along I haven't fired it let me crawl out of here oh dear Right, I haven't fired the engine yet, simply because um, I want to get the radiator hoses on and get some coolant in it, because once I do fire it, um, I, I want to leave it running for a good 20 minutes 
to break the cam and everything in. I, I don't just want to fire it and go way and then turn it off. Um, so <coughs> that's the plan for that. Um, oh yeah, and I, I haven't yet put the uh, the distributor. The this is a or was a points distributor. There was another one on the other engine, which was the electronic ignition. But I've tested it, and it doesn't seem to be working. Some something wrong with it. But then again, I'm not surprised. So I've opted for this one because this is the um, was it 35 was it 35 D8 or M8 or whatever it is, and they do an electronic change for this particular one. So I've I've ordered that. So I should have the electronic ignition for that come soon. So then the, the, that'll work and a new coil. I've got an old coil, but it's been bonking around the workshop for God knows how long. I kept it in the Jeep just in case. So I thought I'd have a new one. So, so that, that, that hasn't got any electrics in it just yet. So that's got to be done. So yeah, one, once all that's sorted, I can fire the engine and um, look for leaks and everything. Put the pipes on and uh, at least run it for 20 minutes to break the cam in so anyway there you go cheers for now that's it it's coming along and i'm praying to god that soon that uh, crate will be here from australia with a new windscreen because i mean quite honestly that can, a windscreen can go in now uh, if if i had it right cheers for now everybody see you later bye bye